Alright guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to shatter text in Cinema 4D using a brand new program called Throwsy and um, MoGraph, uh, which is bundled in with Cinema 4D 11.5. So, um, what you're going to want to do first is obviously open up Cinema 4D. And we're going to go ahead and create a floor so that our text can be sitting on the floor. And then we'll create a light and bring it just above and a little bit back and I'm actually gonna make the floor a uh, very bright white so that it actually um, kinda looks like it just extends out and um, might wanna bring that down just a little bit and that's pretty good okay so now after we now after we've done that we're gonna go to the MoGraph uh, little drop down up here and go ahead and hit text object and what we're gonna want to do here is type in what what you want it to say I'm just gonna type in shatter just for the sake of the tutorial and then pick a really really big font because that's what um, this actually looks the best with it's kind of a shame I don't really have too big of a font here this is this is pretty good okay so now after that we'll make the depth a little thicker um, I think that's pretty good so now if we render this out um, there's just text kinda sitting on the floor and maybe to make it a little more realistic we'll give it some shadow maps just to give it a nice little uh, shadow and so yeah what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna want to add a MoGraph to um, to your text and your floor um, so what you're going to do is select the floor go ahead and come over to tags MoGraph tags and rigid body then you're going to control click on the rigid body on the floor and drag it right up here under the object or the text object and so now if we add a couple frames here I'll just do 500 doesn't matter and then hit play the text will just kind of fall and um, actually it was supposed to my bad I don't think I'd gonna control click on the floor and add it to the text object I moved it my bad so um, now if we play it will just kinda you know just shake a little and it has gravity to itself now so sooner or later as you can see the S is kinda tilting um, it kinda I think it's staying up now so yeah that's what it'll do it's pretty much like it has gravity um, and it's interacting with the floor so what I'm gonna actually show you how to do is shatter the text using another object I'm not just gonna have it explode out of nowhere what we're gonna do is have a ball drop down onto it and shatter it uh, that way so what you can do here is go ahead and add a sphere and before we do anything to the sphere we'll go up to MoGraph and we'll go cloner object and make the sphere a child of the cloner object then click on cloner object and here at the count um, we're gonna go ahead and make that one and so now this is actually a MoGraph object and that's what we need because MoGraph doesn't work without or on an, a non MoGraph object so what we'll do is actually move this uh, sphere here out of the uh, camera view so that you know can't see it um, and we are going to go ahead and control click on the floor rigid body again and drag it over here to the cloner object and now if we hit play the sphere should fall down onto the text and uh, bounce off and that is what it did um, it didn't really bounce off um, but you know it just kinda slammed onto the text and knocked it all over um, and obviously it did not shatter it so what we're gonna do here is make sure we have the text object selected and come up here to plugins and Throwsy and once this slides out here hit Throwsy again and this little window should pop up what you're gonna wanna do is I'd say around six six pieces would be pretty good and that'll split every single letter um, it'll split the S H A T T E R into six pieces so what you're gonna do is hit break now and as you can see it's breaking them all down and it does this very very quickly as you can see it only took six and a half seconds 
And so now it um they all are in kind of different things. As you can see in the beginning of either, either each name of it it's S and then the H A T T E R Shatter. Um, and if I drop this down, it'll be in all six pieces. As you can see, if I click on them all, it'll all change. So, now if we hit play, the text will just sh shatter without anything hitting it, and they'll, it'll just fall on the floor. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened. And then the ball kind of fell down into the already shattered text. So what you're going to want to do here is, at zero, going to want to have all of these selected, and hit an auto keyframe or turn off enabled first and then hit on turn on auto keyframe and then we'll move this over until the sphere actually hits and that's a little too much we'll go back and try again I think right there is pretty good and we'll then enable it and if we now play the cube is what shatters all the text and um, if we go back it should be disabled staying 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 and then bam looks like the cube or the the sphere kind of fell down and smashed the uh, whole thing and uh, as you can see it looks really ugly here but if we just render it out it'll look like plain old good text so yeah that's pretty much how you do it guys um, if you want it to make if you want to make it um, a little more realistic as you can see it kind of slides all over the floor what you're gonna do is click on the floor and go to the MoGraph tag for the floor and um, in collision you'll turn the friction up to a lot I turn it up to about 2.5 and then if you want maybe the ball to bounce a little higher we can turn that up a little too uh, it doesn't really matter and if we go back now the ball doesn't bounce anymore because it actually if you can see it kinda hits the text in a weird way Oh, never mind. It looks like it bounced there. So now if we hit play, the text will all shatter. The ball will kind of bounce a little bit. And it won't go flying all over the place, which is what it kind of did last time. Um, or a little bit before before we turned the friction up and looks very unrealistic. So that's pretty much it, guys. After that, if you would like to add a um, texture to everything, um, you they kind of add it here and you would have to change it all but you can go ahead and make a new material make the color red and then go ahead and just if you want select all of these and go ahead and group the objects and you can go ahead and add uh, a red and actually that won't work never mind um you can't group the objects actually it'll turn off all the um things so you might need you actually might need to add them you'll have to add a red texture to all of the pieces which is a pretty big pain in the butt as you can see it the little piece turned red right there so you'll actually have to add it add it to all the pieces which is kind of a little bit of a pain but you know that's how I guess that's how it works. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Hope uh, you guys get it and uh, make a pretty sick intro with it. Peace, guys.